tree of heaven was imported from Asia and widely planted in urban environments all over the United States. Tree of heaven tolerate growing in poor soil conditions and are absent of insect or disease problems. They have become problematic for a few reasons. They are easy to establish, grow rapidly, and can take root in places that can cause damage to pavement, sewers, and building foundations. They secrete a toxic chemical into the soil that prevents desired plants from growing nearby. Tree of Heaven reproduces both by seed and by sprouting from creeping roots. These roots can grow out 50 feet in all directions from the trunk. Tree of Heaven is either male or female and typically grows in dense colonies or clones. All trees in a single clone are the same sex. The trees can grow up to 80 feet tall and have a lifespan of 30 to 50 years. Here are three steps for controlling Tree of Heaven without the use of pesticides. Identification. Tree of Heaven will grow from a lifeless looking skeleton in winter to a full leafy plant in summer. The bark of Tree of Heaven is smooth and brownish green when young, eventually turning light brown to gray and developing shallow diamond shaped fissures. Tree of Heaven leaves have a central stem with leaflets attached on each side. Female trees are prolific seeders with the potential to produce more than 300,000 seeds annually. Seeds are a one to two inch long twisted samara or wing. The samaras are found in clusters which can hang through winter. Luckily, their seeds are only viable for about a year. This species is easily confused with some Northwest trees such as staghorn sumac, black walnut, and hickory. Tell them apart by looking at the edges of the leaflets. The native trees all have serrations or teeth, while Tree of Heaven are smooth. The foul odor of rancid peanut butter is unique to Tree of Heaven and is produced by the tree's crushed foliage, broken twigs, and flowers. Monitoring. Monitoring your property regularly will allow you to remove young trees before they are well established. Seedlings have more slender stems and the same characteristic leaf shape of three leaflets. Early detection and plant removal are critical for preventing establishment and seed dispersal. Removal. Very small trees are relatively easy to pull by hand grabbing when the soil is moist and the entire root system can be removed. Young trees do not do well in shaded conditions, so keeping the area planted with desirable shrubs and plants can help. Removing an established tree without chemicals requires diligence. The extensive tree roots store nutrients. When you cut a tree, the stored nutrients allow the tree to send up many new shoots and suckers. Stumps should always be thoroughly and completely ground down. Try to pull up and dig out the extensive root system that the tree creates just below the soil surface in all directions around the tree. You will still need to pull up small sprouted seeds for at least one to two years following removal of the tree. Find more tips for managing weeds without using pesticides at pesticide.org.